Thank you very much, and thank you everybody for, for joining this call um, today. So, um, w without uh, dwelling too quick, too too long on the first slide, there, I'd just like to, to talk you through um, the, today's agenda. So, um, I'll be covering basically the, the the detail around West Coast being appointed as HP's newest SCS distributor. Um, we'll then move on to, to Paul Early talking around the, the, the business opportunity available to you, um, the ways to buy and the ways to grow your contractual business. Um, there's, there's a wealth of reasons to choose HP Support Services, which Paul will also cover. Uh, and then our own Darren Jeff will, will, will cover over the, the call to action and um, you know, really the, uh, the, the steps that you can take to, to, to move forward with your, your contracted business. So I'm Wesley Lawrence. I run the uh, HP Enterprise Group business here at West Coast. So that covers the, the services portfolio, the HP servers, HP networking, and, and HP storage. Um, so just a, a, a brief uh, update on, on anyone that doesn't know everything about uh, West Coast. We are HP's largest distributor in the UK. I think our relationship goes back almost 27 years now. Uh, we're a privately owned business. Um, we're a very flexible, agile, and you know, a, a quick to move business. Um, revenues uh, last year bro breaking 1.2 million. Um, and you know, I'd still say probably 75% of that is, is HP. So you know, we're very, very close to HP. There's some excellent relationships there at all levels. Um, you know that that experience I think can um, can bring a lot to your to your business. So we are accredited to sell the full range of um, of HP products. So be it enterprise three pass storage, uh, all the way across to HP's toners um, and, and everything in between. So uh, we obviously have the the, the people uh, and the tools and resources available to to help you um, you know get out there and uh, and sell those products. There's various BDMs and, uh, and you know, pre-sales technical resource available to you to, to support you in that. And you know, if there's a, you're making a strategic decision to move into selling another product area, you know, we're, we're very well positioned to help you do that. So um, now as I say, sales specialists, pre-sales technical people, we've got some guys that can come out and visit you, you know, spend, spend time with you to really understand your business and your customer base. Um, you know, and, and look at how we can um, we, we can develop and push things forward with you guys. You know, as, as a real partnership. You know, we we, are, we really are trying to add add value, and um, you know, our, our BDMs can go through with you. You know, a, a number of the tools that we've developed with HP um, to to really make a difference to, to to you and your business. So, you know, obviously the purpose of today's call. You know, we have recently become uh, you know a, a, an SDS accredited distributor. We've always been able to sell care pack. We've always been able to sell the uh, enterprise flexible support, but um, the, the the SCS or you know contracted services is something that uh, is is you know new to us as of the, the first of May this year. So we have um we have a team of of two people at the moment that are concentrating on your quoting, your ordering, uh, and and all the other things we can do to add value in front of your customer, which um I'll let Darren uh, cover off later. Um, but J Jackie Southern is, is, is part of the team. She's been um, uh, in charge of our purchasing uh, function for over 10 years now uh, and has now taken over uh, responsibility for uh, all the process and everything else around SCS to make sure that you know, when you have an opportunity that we're, you know, we're getting you that information and quotation information back as quickly as possible and getting everything correct first time. Um, Darren joins us um, from uh, TSD, uh, who were a previously a, a services-only distributor. Um, Darren's spent many years running the the contracted business there. You know he knows everything from 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 start to finish, and and will really um, you know be be the man to help you you know drive that business forward. Um, you know the the point there of, of of the experience between everyone. You know we've all been around the channel for for, for a hell of a long time. Uh, I like to think that we um, we know just about everything you'll need to know to to, to, to make you guys successful with your SDS business and, and, and the rest of the services portfolio going forward. Um, we have an expert understanding across the business of, of HP's processes and tools. Um, at times, I think if you're if you're new to any of this business, you know it can appear to be um, somewhat of a challenge. I think from from um, from, from the eyes of the outsider, um, but you know we're on hand there to to, to make sure that we. We, we make the process as smooth as possible, and we make you know every every transaction as simple as we can for you, uh, you know, to ultimately help you guys have the confidence to to, to sell more. So um, I will now hand over to to Paul Early. Uh, I'll let Paul introduce himself, and uh, I will look forward to answering your questions later on in the call. 
Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, hi, everybody. Paul Early here. I, um, I'm the Channel Services Business Manager for HP. I'm responsible for several things, the, the, the care pack business that flows through our channel partners and also the contractual business that flows through our channel partners and the accreditation of the Services One business, uh, which is you know, an area where partners are going to sell and deliver mode uh, on some of our services. So what I'm going to talk a little bit about today is a little bit about the contractual business and put the contractual business in context with our care pack business. Uh, but first off, I'd like to welcome West Coast on board. Really excited to bring them on board as a contract distributor of ours. Lots of energy there, lots of expertise. So, you know, welcome on board, and I'm sure we'll do really well as a, as a group and a community together. So first off, um, I'd like to say, you know, every customer needs service, uh, whether it's a printer right the way through to, you know, their mainframe or their cloud environment or their storage environment. You know, every customer needs service. Um, and, and at the point of purchase, they make a decision on whether they buy an extended warranty, like a care pack from us, or a contract. And throughout the life of that product, they may well decide that they, they need service from a, from a third party maintainer at some stage. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about that, but you know, every customer needs it. And in my experience, and I've been in the industry some 30 odd years now, you know, every time I visit a customer, service always comes up in one part of the conversation or, or another. So it's always worthwhile uh, you know, having a services conversation. The services contractual business, which is slightly different from the care pack business, you know, allows us to have a, a better you know, conversation, a better engagement, and ultimately better loyalty with our, with our customer. You know, if we look at care pack, you know, that to a certain extent, depending on what product you're selling on, it is a sell and forget product, but a contract, you have the opportunity to talk to that customer all the time. Uh, and so service contracts are a great way to build your business with that particular customer. Um, so a couple of things, uh, you know, how, how to buy HP support services. You know, there are two ways, really. Uh, there's the care pack or, or there's the contract. You know, both of those, both of those service packages, should I say, you know, do the same thing. They both provide a level of support for the client. You know, the core elements of these, you know, may, one method may be suitable for one particular customer scenario. Uh, and one might be slightly different, you know. And the key, the key aspect there, and I think it's on the next slide. Just bear with me. The key attributes there, uh, from a care pack perspective, is, you know, they're payable up front. So they're what we call a capex purchase. You know, they're available. Certainly, the commercial care packs on PSG and IPG, so the PPS product set. You know, ISS, the industry standard server, and and low end storage. You know, they're available at point of product sale. Um, and there's post warranty services available as well after the three year uh, um, after the three year contractual period, uh, and they cannot be in the process of that three years. They cannot be upsold to a higher level of service. So if the customer thinks actually this you know, next business day is okay for me on this particular service, and then 18 months in there's more applications or they change the that particular machine, then clearly they can't upgrade. So you know it's a fixed base at point of product sale purchase which is suitable for most environments, but it's not flexible. The next thing is that we have is the, is the enterprise care pack services. Uh, and these are more flexible, so they're more configur configurable. Um, as it says there, they're also known as value or flex pack. Uh, they're available on, on our high-end product range, so our BCS, our high-end storage three-part range. Uh, it's also available on, on our ISS and networks. The difference here, it can only be say, sold within the first 90 days of, of product purchase, uh, and it's only available on, on new equipment. Okay. The interesting thing around this particular you know, flexible care pack is it can be sold, and it can be upgraded, and it can be added to an existing support contract. So there are two, two packs there that offer different things to customers. And you know, after the conversation with your customer, if it's a low-end printer or a low-end laptop, they just want a three years extended cover, then the commercial fixed care pack is the way to go. If they think they might change the service requirement, but they want to purchase something up front for three years, then the enterprise or flexible care pack is the way to go. And that's really our package service area. So if I move on to you know, contractual services. So our contractual services, which you can now buy through West Coast, are available on all of our EFS product range. Okay. Uh, the contract service is, is, is flexible. So if you decide one month that you needed needed to be uplifted, you know, and for the future to a highly available service rather than 
that just a reactive service, it can be changed. Okay. Um, it, it has flexible options, so just like CarePack, you can buy a contract up front. You can pay for one year or three years in advance, pay for it all up front, and there's various discounts that apply. Or if your customer says, actually, I can't afford all this in one hit, I'm going to buy this new hardware configuration, I actually need some flexibility around services, they can buy this on a quarterly basis. So they can buy it, they can pay it out of their OPEX budget, or they can pay it out of their CapEx budget, and that gives customers quite a lot of flexibility. And what's interesting about this particular point is that over the last couple of years, we've seen more customers <clears throat> move to a contractual purchase rather than the care pack service because of that flexibility. Um, and lots of customers demand that flexibility on their high-end storage, networking, and IFS environment. As I mentioned, there's discounts available on prepayment and multi-year. Um, and it will potentially support the whole environment. So you can include new kit, multi-vendor kit, and mature kit all under one contractual service and pay for that quarterly, which is quite uh, quite appealing to certain customers. And as it mentions at the end there, you can easily add and delete products, where if you bought a three-year fixed care pack and you've changed that product after two years, potentially you lose the third year of uh, payment. So this is quite a good way to have conversations with customers about how you can you know, be very flexible around their growing and changing in, you know, environment. So a couple of things I'd like to talk about here. So, you know, growing your contractual business. So if you're starting from scratch, or if you're a very seasoned contractual uh, partner seller, there's a couple of things you can do. You know, converting, expiring enterprise, or for that matter, air pack. So what we find, and we're going through an exercise just recently of contacting some of our customers that have bought a three-year enterprise care pack, um, you know, we tend to, in our fast-moving world, sell and forget care packs when, we, when, we've, uh, when we've sold the hardware. Three years down the line, the customer doesn't know that that particular warrant is expiring. They, uh, and what we're finding is that probably 40% of the customers uh, are going into uh, an area after the three years where they're uncovered because they've not been notified that the care pack is expiring. So the whole host around care packs that you sold um, that you can now have conversations with your customer about about moving them onto the contract. And the contracts, you know, we support a kit that's maybe, you know, anything from three to ten years old. So it's a great opportunity to revisit things that you sold in the past and have deeper conversations about service requirements around expiring care packs. Uh, we've got a couple of programs running at the moment. Um, you know, winbacks. So any hardware that's out there with a you know with a third party maintainer. Um, or a non-accredited partner, you know, we're offering quite aggressive win-back campaigns to bring that back to HP support. Um, and we've also got offers at the moment for upsell. So what we're finding, lots of customers that maybe bought blades three years ago, and all of a sudden now they've gone to a totally bladed environment. Maybe they've, uh, you know, maybe they're running a virtualized world. Maybe they're doing cloud activity. The demand uh, on that server or set of servers or bladed environment is greater than it was three years ago. And there are the proactive services as opposed to reactive services. There's great opportunity to contact those customers to talk about upselling to a proactive style environment. And we're finding quite a lot of traction there, actually, which is, which is a great opportunity to have conversations. Okay, so a couple of things here. You know, reasons to choose HP. And I'm not going to go through every single one of these. We'll clearly, the slides will be available to you afterwards. But a couple of key things. You know, if anybody understands our technology, it's going to be HP. You know, without a doubt, we understand what's going on. We understand the future path of that technology. You know, if you sell a HP contract in any shape or form, you know, that customer and you as a partner have access to our you know, level three escalation process. So when the you know, going gets tough, and, and unfortunately sometimes it does, you know, we have the greatest level of expertise on tap for that customer. And if you're taking you know, the first call for the customer, you know, you'll get tracked through to that level of escalation if the customer's in a downtime situation. You know, all of our engineers are trained and accredited. You know, we do have uh, engineers out there that uh, are with third party maintainers that, you know, many years ago might well have been trained by HP. You know, we have an ongoing training accreditation process for our accredited partners and our accredited engineers that work with us on HP. And we are at the, you know, cutting edge of what's required from an IT perspective, from a their revision and software compatibility perspective, and that's quite important <laughs> in this you know, fast-moving world of, 
of virtualization and cloud. You know, we've got global reach. Um, I'm not suggesting for one minute that we would do, you know, one server in the Outer Hebrides and one server in in, in uh, New Zealand. But you know, we have the capability for larger customers that need some global reach capability to be able to look after those customers. We always have conversations with about that. Uh, and the last piece I think I covered, you know, access to authorized parts and, and updated firmware, software, and, and IP. There are quite a lot of reasons to come back to us. I think, you know, I've, I've been out with quite a lot of partners recently and met quite a lot of customers. You know, the cust thing that customers value the most is when they've, you know, done an upgrade over the weekend and, you know, they go live on Sunday night or Monday morning and things are not working and they need access to our tools and capabilities around the compatibility. And that thing, that, that, that thing around compatibility is a kind of woolly grey area that we can't really put our finger on at times. But you need the ability to come back to HP, have a conversation with the right level of, of, of skill set, and we have this this uh, you know non-binding agreement, but across the industry, where we can contact Microsoft, we can contact VMware, we can contact Red Hat, and there's a compatibility group of people that say actually we need this revision or that revision or that firmware on that particular bladed system, and that that gets resolution a lot quicker than you would do being out in a third party world where you potentially won't get that level of underpinning. So, you know, by all means, I'm, I'm rushing through it now, but, you know, come and talk to Darren, come and talk to, you know, some of our account management team, and we can certainly give you a deeper understanding of actually what we can do there. Okay. A quick couple of benefits to, uh, to, to partners and customers, okay. You know, contractual margin is normally a lot higher than the hardware that you're selling. So getting to a really great area for you to be in, uh, it allows you to grow your business, it allows you to retain your customer relationship. You can show real value to customers because you can wrap some of your own services in and around our contract. You know, we've got no issues with that. You're close to the customer. You can do a lot more for them than we can. The underpinning of the HP relationship that will actually cement uh, that. Uh, uh, relationship and hopefully keep the competition up. Um, benefits to the customer, you know, we provide a valuable service. You know, we maintain all our products. Um, everything's cut, kept up to date with the correct trained engineers and IT, et cetera, et cetera, which I think I've covered quite a lot. Okay, so um, I'm happy to answer questions at the at the end. That was a quick romp through some of the reasons for getting into the services and the attraction services. At this point, I'll hand over to Darren to give you a, uh, a little bit about what they're doing. Over to you, Darren. Good morning. Thank you, Paul. Uh, morning, guys. Uh, my name is Darren Jeff. Uh, I'm the uh, Services Development Manager for West Coast. Um, I joined West Coast in the middle of April. Uh, as Wesley said earlier, I come from a company called TSD, who was an SCS distributor. Uh, I worked for them for two years, uh, so I know the contract business inside and out, how the processes work and how to get uh, get the quotes out as quickly as possible. Uh, previous to that, I worked for a company called Carepack Sales. Uh, I was a sales manager uh, there for six years. Previous to that, working on the phone and selling Carepacks. So I know the Carepack business quite well also. So the services portfolio for HP, I'd say I've got 11 years. So uh, if you need contract or Carepack, I can answer both questions, it's not a problem. Uh, next slide, please. So I just want to talk you through what West Coast can offer to you guys within regards to helping you to sell contracts more effectively. So one of the services we offer is site audit. Um, obviously, you've got customers out there that have got equipment. Sometimes they don't know what they've got, what the serial numbers are, what the product numbers are. And we as a company would go out to the client. Uh, we can take the resources if you wish, uh, but we'll go out to the client. It's a non-invasive site audit. So we will go in with a scanning device and we will scan every single server and storage that you wanted to and we'll get that into a, a list for you. So then the customer's got an audit of every piece of equipment they've got. That in turn will then help you because it increases your sale because uh, you may have hardware that comes out of the site audit that you might not have had uh, previously to that. So that will hopefully increase the sale for you guys and then in turn for West Coast. Uh, we stick to strict quote SLAs, so we say for a quote smart, which is a basic quote which you can put through the HK system, which is in the SPA tool, we say it's going to be uh, two hours. For anything that needs to be submitted to HP, so there may be some obscurities to the hardware, 
we're talking EVAs, three com and three part, they need to be submitted through HP system, which is a two day turnaround. So obviously we are then stuck to HP's SLAs, but we will obviously uh, endeavour to get put out as possible. Um, one of the things we will offer to you guys is a resource to help with your sales guys. Uh, so I'll come out, we'll do floor walking days, so I'll hopefully take a couple of minutes of uh, your sales guys' time, tell them who I am, what West Coast do, what services are, leave them with some uh, pamphlets that tell them about the, uh, the discount that HP is giving out and how we can sell contracts and the differences between care back. We can get on and use a conference call. So if you are discussing a big opportunity with a customer and they're asking questions that they don't you know the answer to, uh, that's your sales guy that is, I can jump on a call. I can act as a reseller, so I can come in uh, as a reseller name or I can come in as West Coast, it's entirely up to you guys. And then hopefully I can answer any of the questions the end user's got and then hopefully move them on to a purchase from there. Um, I can do one-to-one -one training with the sales guy, so if you want us to um, go into a room, uh, spend a couple of hours going through what contract services are and all the promotions with HP, we can do that. Uh, we can do call-out days, so again, we'll come in, we'll do some training, uh, we'll get a database of uh, the clients, we'll start calling them up and then offering uh, contract services. I'll be there with the sales guys as we do that, just in case I need to jump on the phone or answer any questions we've got. Um, we've got the end user ready quote documents. So the quote documents we get from HP, uh, we will put those into a Word document format. Um, so we will then change all the details on there. So the address details come through as yours as the reseller with the end user details on there. We can add your company logo for those documents. So if you want us to do that, just send us over your logo and we can do that as uh, standard. Uh, all of these documents will come across to you user friendly. So they will come across with your sell price to the end user. So obviously we'll remove all the, uh, the margins and things off the documents that you come through with. You can then just forward that to the end user. You don't have to worry that we're giving away what your buy price is. Uh, we can give you monthly reports. So if we're working with you quite, uh, quite a lot and you've got quite a lot of quotes out there, we can tell you what stage these quotes are at, whether they're sold, whether they're still pending, whether we're waiting for any information from HP, whether we're waiting for discounts and things like that to be applied. So we can do that, no problem. As a reseller, we give a standard of 15.25% margin. We, as a distis, we make 21% margin. We pass on 15.25% as standard to resellers. Next slide, please. So, with regard to the HP um, discount and promotions we've got at the moment, um, there's a couple of good ones. I know Paul touched on one of them earlier, which was the win back discount. So the win back discount at the moment is up to 50% to help you move across hardware that has been sat with either TPM or not had any support at all, or it's currently just sat in base warranty. So we will give you the 50% margin, uh, the 50% discount plus your reseller margin to pass on to your clients to win them back from third party. Also, with that, with proactive services, so it's uh, moves that from a uh, reactive support to a um, proactive support. With up to 40 percent discount available for those services, so if you're moving your client across from a standard service level to a proactive service level, you can get up to 40 percent discount for that. That is, of course, on top of your retail margin also, so you get your 15.25 percent. The prepaid discounts available, so if your customer decides they want to pay for the contract all up front, you can get up to 7% discount as well as your standard margin, as well as any discounts that would be added to the PPM discounts. If they're then going for multi-year discounts, you can also earn up to 7%. Obviously, that then gets added to the PPM discount, the prepaid discount, and your reseller margin. So there are quite a lot of uh, margins and discounts in there to win these, these guys back from uh, TPM or to give you guys extra margins. So as a reseller, we don't tell you what you have to do with those margins. We would prefer you to pass it on to the client so we can retain them. But if you decide to keep some of those margins, that is entirely up to you. We, as a company, we will say, we will give you all these margins. We will not retain any of them. We will only retain our bit of the margin that we get from HP. Okay, uh, Stuart, I think we're open to any questions now. Thank you. As a reminder, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press the hash key.
As a reminder, if you wish to ask a question, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press the hash key. There are no questions at this time. Okay. Uh, please, so, please continue. Okay, thank you very much, Stuart. Cheers. Uh, so, uh, if anyone uh, needs to speak to me at any point and wants to book a meeting for me to come into uh, you, you guys and just talk about uh, the things we've gone through in brief on uh, the slideshow, then by all means just email me on darren.jeff at westcoast.co.uk. Uh, we can set a meeting, I'll come in and speak to you. Uh, and these managers look to see how we can uh, grow your contract services business. Okay, so back to you, Wes or Paul. Okay, um, thank you very much, uh, everybody, for, for joining the call. Um, yeah, obviously, as Darren said, should there be any further questions, then um, his email address is, is on the slide there. So uh, I think that's um, you know a, a, a quite a quick summary, really, of, of, of the opportunity here. Uh, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a great opportunity for for anyone that isn't already selling the contracted services to, uh, to to make themselves some 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 good margin and some good revenue going forward. So. Um, Yes, thank you again for, very much for joining the call. And uh, there will be a recording of this, and, and the slides will be sent out, available uh, to be downloaded from our microsite, uh, which is at westcoast.co.uk slash solutions. Um, so thank you very much. Paul, anything else to add? No? Nope. Okay, then. All right, thank you very much. Sorry, I was on mute. Nothing for me, thank you. Um... <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you, everyone.